Det tror jag är gunna. Okay guys, I'm going to dim the lights uh, here for a minute to uh, show off another little effect that we have going on. You can see this neon bulb and this neon bulb shining bright. I'll show you where those wires run. Um, this one comes down here and it's on one side of our coil, okay, this probe. So it runs back up this way. Now the second neon is in series, right there with the first. And then we go to this clip lead, to this clip lead, to this virtual ground up here on the mainframe. Okay? Now what's interesting is uh, I haven't engaged our condensers, but there's our, our waveform output. I'm going to engage our condensers now. And one neon went out, but one stayed lit. And there's our wave now. We're clipping that wave out to charge the condensers. And I'll, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit more here. This is a really interesting waveform, especially when these condensers get fully charged. Uh, we're taking the tops and the bottoms off the waves and dumping them into the condensers. And slowly the, the voltage is rising until we reach an equilibrium in the circuit there. Um, So there's a one wire neon charging two neons in series and both of them lit uh, to full intensity. Um, you can see there's our generator coil, down there is our rotor. I want to, uh, to make another audible demonstration for you now, if I may. Here we have an old uh, dumpster di diving expedition score uh, and just a little, little coaxial speaker. So I'm going to take my generator coil output and pull it off the bridge rectifier. I'm going to hook it up to our speaker. And this will be another indication of the frequency we're, uh, we're achieving with this uh, device. It gets pretty loud. I'm sure you can probably hear that. Um, so I'm going to play with the bass resistance and change the frequency here. We're taking it down. Now we just hit a sweet spot. It's going to crank to the top. Taking it down, way down. I know you can hear that. Can you still hear it? I can hear it. Can you still hear it? I can hear it. We can hit sweet spots, however. Where if we let it accelerate to very high frequency, and slowly push it up. That's when it'll really start to accelerate. And we can push it up to, uh, to a level above human hearing. We can push it to where the rotor's going to stall out, like it's doing now. And as you can see, we're getting kicks here. 
as well. On this coil. This is the output of the generator coil that we're tied into. Not the output. Okay, so that's running a speaker through it, which is uh, a pretty big load. It's a 50 volt sort of division uh, with nothing engaged, open circuit essentially, and uh, both of our neons are shining bright now uh, that are one wire charging. I'm going to connect my bridge rectifier again. That's one side connected. It actually shows us a big in increase in voltage. And there's the other side connected. Oh, no, nope, sorry, it came loose. There's the other side connected. You can see that we're squaring off our waves here again. And finally, I'm sure you, you might want to see this again, so... Here we go. We're in the 10 amp plug on the multimeter. We're dumping charge, or we're dumping uh, current voltage spikes out to the capacitor bank right now. And uh, we got one neon that's uh, going as well. It's almost getting time to replace the rotor housing. It's almost worn through. So uh, I'm on uh, AC amps. I'm going to tie in right here, and tie in right here. There's the waveform still. I'm going to crank it up. Sometimes it takes a very careful hand to increase the uh, frequency. Also takes a careful hand at times to increase the current output. There's a sweet spot up here around 200 ohms which if I start down here and really let it build up some momentum interesting waveform is it not? that's the base, base waveform I see What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the rotor vertically up about, uh, well, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch or so. And I'm getting a lot of wobble in my, in my rotor housing now. I'm sure it's uh, preparing to wear out. I'm going to have to replace it pretty soon. It's eating away quite a bit of itself. There, right now we've achieved a pretty good sweet spot. And it should just kind of, uh, somewhere in here. It'll start, it'll just keep rising.
and we can slowly nudge it up. But I mean, we've got to make ohm, two ohm at a time jumps. Tiny little turn to the knob. See the amperage change. And like I said, there's a sweet spot up top here. But I don't think I got it up to be able to do it yet. Well, that's all it wants to give me now, 20 amps. Let's pull our bridge rectifier off, see what happens. Oop, off the scale. There we go. And that's with no bridge rectifier connected. Off the scale. Let's see where our device is set at here. Off the scale. So there's some fun with that, huh?